Hey guys and welcome to my channel. For today I thought we could be painting a musk melon and you know a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago and a couple of videos ago I said I got myself a new sketchbook and I would be painting in it. I would I would try to fill it up with fruits and vegetables and maybe some flowers and you know as I said this one is has pretty thin pages, papers, so it's not really suitable for washes and I decided to do things that won't need too much water and this time today I wanted to paint musk melon. You know, I don't think you can find a lot of tutorials, videos on painting a musk melon and I do love it. I love watermelons but I also love musk melons. So I've decided to do one, to paint one and well I hope you will join me, you will like it and well let's get started. First I've used my kneaded eraser to lighten my sketch and just to pick up the excess graphite from it and after that I prevented the paper, the entire paper and I did not use too much water, just slight amount to cover the paper because as I said, as I said earlier this paper is pretty thin and I do not want to use a lot of water on it. Next thing I did painted all around my mask melon because you know as you can see in a final painting I do want the paint to go a little bit out of the borders of my mask melon because I do want this to be looser and you know we don't have to paint everything inside our borders and I do want that first layer to go a little bit outside of it. Next thing I did is dry that first layer because I do want it completely dry for my next layer which I'm painting wet on dry and just going around the seeds avoiding to paint them. All the materials is including this sketchbook will be listed down in the description box and you can go and check it out and if you're looking for some new materials, some new, some new art supplies, maybe you'll find something interesting there. There are basically all the supplies I'm using listed down in the description box, not just watercolors and this sketchbook or brushes, but almost all materials and art supplies I'm using. And next thing I wanted to say, as you could have seen, I did prepare a sketch. I made myself a sketch on the side on the paper because you know you probably already know that because I'm repeating it every time but I like to sketch my sketches on just a regular printing paper and then trace it to my watercolor paper because you know when you erase traces from pencil on your watercolor paper you can just easily ruin it and so I like to pre-sketch it and then trace it to my watercolor paper and of course as always I will share it with you so you can find the link in the description box maybe you already know where it is on my website if you check checked it out before or did um, a download for yourself some other sketches but for those who don't know and never did use those links where the link is down in the description box so just go ahead and check it out download it for yourself trace it and you can join in. I will be painting the seeds cavity a little bit darker and I'm using cadmium red light for it and for the other parts of melon I will be using golden and a little bit of cadmium yellow medium and well that part where the seeds cavity is ending where the well that meat of the musk melon is starting that part is a little bit darker so I did paint it as I said with cadmium red light and then just slightly rinse my brush and smudge it downwards into the meat. While the paint is still wet I'm using a sap green and painting in the edges of musk melon because that part is you know always a little bit greenish so as I said I'm using sap green and since my paper is and paint is still slightly wet it is bleeding into the meat of musk melon and well you know where where there is not bleed where there are not bleeds I'm just using a little bit of water and rinsing my brush into water and smudging it a little bit then at the very edge of that I'm adding a little bit of darker green this is actually just a green and to make it just slightly darker
There is also some variety in color of the flesh of musk melon, so I'm just adding here and there a little bit of golden, a little bit of cadmium red light, just to make those different textures and to make it look a little bit more believable. Now I'm using cadmium yellow medium and painting in the seeds, those smaller little seeds that are just poking a little bit out of the flesh and also those bigger seeds that are seen all through. Later on I will add a little bit more details to the seeds, a little bit shadows and highlights, but for now we're just painting them in yellow and you know I'm not actually even painting the entire seed. Some parts I am slightly leaving just slightly white. With a smaller detail brush then I'm adding some shadows and on some parts of those seeds, mostly on the edges I'm adding a little bit of cadmium red light. If you're finding the pace of this video too slow you can always speed it up in settings and you know the voice wouldn't be so perfect but sometimes if you just want to see a time lapse of a video and you're interested maybe in some parts or just quickly want to see how I painted this entire painting just go to YouTube settings down on in the right corner and speed up the video. Same thing goes to those who think it's too fast and want to slow it down but you know I wouldn't really recommend slowing it down because then the strokes and moves become quite unrealistic. But that is only my opinion on it. With this part with seeds cavity and seeds I think you should be quite patient because that is the part of this painting that requires most of the time and well it requires you to do be a little bit petty and detailish so just have patience for it and enjoy just try to relax doing this and I'm sure you will find it to be quite fun and it is really relaxing. I think it is really relaxing. For the highlights on seeds I'm using a white gouache, you know, because white gouache is opaque and that is the easiest way you can add lighter color on top of the darker color because when using watercolors you either need to leave the white of the paper or you just want to add some medium that is not transparent as watercolors so I think gouache goes the best with it. You can also use maybe here some white gel pen or white marker but I would say it's maybe too well maybe too not transparent, too opaque I would say for this and well white gouache when dries won't be so vibrantly white, it will dry slightly darker, slightly, it well not darker, I would say it, it won't be so vibrant and it won't scream so much as maybe a white gel pen or white marker would. Now I'm adding a little bit more shadows and again going in between the seeds adding those darkest parts. I will also be using some sepia later on to add those darkest shadows in that seeds cavity. On the bottom I will be painting the skin of musk melon and for that I'm just mixing a little bit of sepia into my greens 
This is actually a mix of green and sap green, but you can just use just a regular green and just add a little bit of sepia or a little bit of that darker brown color into it and you will get this color. Well, this is well, I guess the color of musk melon skin and you know just use a light wash it doesn't have to be dark and saturated just a light wash and then with the sepia I'm just adding the lowest part that's actually well the part that is touching our surface that is touching the table maybe or floor or whatever wherever those musk melons wherever our musk melons is and since the skin has also those lines darker lines on it and veins maybe not really veins but i would call it veins i am making those just random lines with sepia on the skin and at the end well i am using white gouache right from the tube because this time i do want it to be well to be a little bit more saturated and creamy not I don't want to water it down so I'm using white gouache straight from the tube for those well brightest highlights on the seeds Also, I will be adding that white highlights that I would say are a reflection from the light to the edges of my mask melon to the part where the flesh ends and skin begins. And now with sepia, as I mentioned earlier, I'm adding some darkest shadows that will be beneath our seeds. I'm painting them on the edges of seeds. And I'm now going back and forward adding some details here and there on the flesh on the seeds cavity on seeds just adding a little bit more pigment a little bit more contrast to those parts Then to finish it off I will add a little bit more of the splatters in golden and also in cadmium yellow medium. Last thing I will add some shadows beneath the mask melon using the mix of sepia and the green same color that I used for painting the skin of mask melon. And with those couple of lace details, I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for supporting me. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. I always love to see your comments and to see what you think, 
What is your opinion about this video, about this painting? Any suggestions if you have, always welcome. So if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me and it would help me grow this channel and keep, well, keep me doing what I love to do and what I absolutely enjoy in doing. And there is just one thing I wanted to say and that is the reason why I didn't speed this up because I wanted you to see that well, this paper is very, very delicate. And if you do get this sketchbook, just be careful. Don't use the washi tape to make the edges because it is ripping it off and the paper is completely ripped on the sides. So just keep that in mind and be careful not to use washi tapes with it. So without further ado, thank you guys a lot and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.